Hello everyone, I'm not Henning, and that's a good thing. Especially on this channel where you get a lot of Henning. I am however going to talk about something on Henning's channel, and for disclaimer reasons, there's going to be materials in this video which were brought by sponsors, like this fancy gravity stand. This means this is a sponsored video, however, the brands of guitar and bass builders I will be talking about were all purchased by me, so they had no influence whatsoever. Something else I have influence in is this wonderful setup with multiple angles, which I won't be using. So, uh, Leslie, rather than switching a video, would you like to be in a video and play with my wiener? Sure. Then come right in. If if you call my my wiener's name, it will come to you. Michelle's wiener. <laughs> No, the other day. <laughs> Snoopy! Yay, look! Snoopy! Ta-da! My wiener. And Henning's wiener take care -er. No, okay, let's start with the actual video. Uh, what I would like to talk about is custom guitars and custom basses. If you're a regular of this channel, you will have seen Henning play wonderful instruments, which most of us can't afford, including me. And then you can see uh, he's a trust fund baby comments, which isn't true because Henning owes me a lot of money, which he wouldn't if he uh, had his uh, own trust fund. So I'm just a regular Joe, just like all of you, with a regular 9-to-5 job, hooray! But I still like custom instruments. And uh, I'd like to make you consider buying custom instruments too, and a specific range of custom instruments. And yes, I will be saying custom a lot throughout this video. Also something, just so you know from the start, I won't be playing a single note in this entire video because how a custom instrument sounds should be important to only one person. You or me if I order them. So what do you see as custom? The first level of custom I would say is you buy a Harley Benton or a Jet or whatever you want and you mod it, and you change your pickups, and you add locking tuners, and you do whatever the heck you want with it, and then you have a custom guitar. Good, easy, cheap. On the other end, you go to a wonderful builder, and uh, for this I have picked this one here, which is Blanche by Tone Fox. Uh, Tone Fox, not Tone Fox, which is the other brand, fully custom built, everything you want to the highest perfection possible. This, I have one of those with my own specs, clocks in around 4K, which is a lot of money for a lot of people. So this isn't something most of us will be able to afford or justify to spend the money on. Great instrument, not what we're going to talk about. On the other end, you have cheaper builders, and cheap doesn't necessarily mean bad, but for that example, I do have one of my custom built ones. This is a 10S guitar, it's made in China, fully to my specs. You can clearly see it's a T model, it has P90s, it has a Bixby style, it has locking tuners, it has a lot of things. And I'm very happy with it, but to get this built and done, because there's a language barrier, because there's time zone differences, it's quite a hassle to have it built. I'm very happy with it, but it's an arduous, is that the right word? Mm -hmm. It's an arduous process to have it built. We can do better than that. Uh, this one, by the way, clocks in around five, six hundred euros, I'd say. So a lot cheaper, but you have a lot more hassle. Then 
we're, we're, we're going to zone into somewhere. But before we're zoning in, we still have other edges. My favorite brand of guitars and basses, well, of basses, Sandberg. Sandberg, you can just go to a shop and buy one and you'll have a great bass. Or you'll go to their website, they have a configurator, and then you can pick the model, pick the color, pick the pick guard, pick how many strings you want, um, color of the hardware, what kind of fretboard you want, what kind of neck you want, a lot of options. And what I like about it is, if you start specking your bass, the end price will roughly be the same as just off the rack basses, because their philosophy is we're just building them and we're changing the specs, but we're not doing anything special. If you do have special requests, talk to them, they will listen, they will try. Uh, on the same level as Sandberg for basses, there's PJD for guitars. You have a bunch of models and you just tell them which colors you want, which hardware, and you'll get a great instrument and it will range in the two, three, three and a half thousand euro range, all depending on which specs you want. So we can still do better. Oops, Henning, I dent your uh, sandbag. Not that you're ever going to watch this video, but at least now you know I did it. But then where do we want to land? And that's where we're going to talk, or what we're going to talk about. This is a custom-built Yoshi La guitar. Yoshi who lives three kilometers away. Yeah. I got to know Yoshi through uh, all the Gear Street shenanigans and other visits I made here. And I liked his style. I liked his way of building. I liked his process. So I said, I want a Yoshi Luck guitar. And you won't be able to see it straight away, but if you look at it, it will look purple. And I'll try to play with the lights a little bit. Uh, you can see it a little bit here and a little bit down. And there's actually very, very subtle shades and sh uh, shades and sh not shapes. Uh, what am I looking for? The color blurring. I don't know. I don't know either, but it's special, it's unique, and it's under two grand. And that's what I want to talk about, because if you hear custom, you might be thinking about Fender Custom Shop or Ibanez J-Craft or whatever the name is, and then you're in the 3000 range, the 5000 range, however much money you'd like to spend. And someone at Fender will be very happy with that purchase or with that sale and your purchase. But here we're speaking of one specific person, one builder who made this completely for me to my specifications. We talked about it. I said I want lipstick pickups and I want an actual Bixby, not a Bixby styled uh, trim bar, vibrato arm, whatever you want to call it. Um, one volume, one tone with specific switching locking tuners that are really, really good, a very good nut, all things that I was able to easily communicate with and then constantly got updates on how far Yoshi was going along, what he was doing, getting pictures, getting all sorts of things, ending up with this under two grand, specifically built for me exactly the way I wanted it. And in this case, hand delivered by the builder himself. As I'm a bass player and not really a guitar player, I also have the same thing with basses. And that's one I got to know through Henning's videos of the Padua guitar show, whatever it's called. This one, Blackbeard, which is, well, maybe the best bass I have. It's a very specific one if you look at it because it's the style of the builder in this case, Paolo. Ciao, Paolo. This base, I knew I wanted a tele-shaped base and I wanted to do it special. So I have three pickups rather than two pickups because I like 
weird stuff and asking weird questions to people. On the same front, it's staggered. Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3 and a tone. Because why not? Rather than having a blend or a pickup switch, I just create whatever sound I want and then that's it. I set it up, I never changed it, and I'm very happy with it. Again, why Paolo? Well, look at that style. There's not a single builder you'll find who has this exact style but Paolo. If you go to those Fender and Ibanez custom shops, you'll always have their instrument the way they have it. Go for something unique, go for something special, go for something you like. The same thing. Yoshi wouldn't build me this bass. If Yoshi built me a bass, it would be something completely different. Paolo wouldn't build me that guitar. Paolo would build me his kind of guitar. So in that sense, it's not even about which instrument you want. First, look at the different builders. Look at the different styles. For this, and I can't believe I'll be recommending it, look at Henning's trade show videos where he talks for 10 minutes and annoys those builders. It's blue or nothing, huh? It's blue or nothing. Okay. But you get to see the style of the builder. If you see something you like, contact them. Same thing with the British Boutique Guitar Festival. Uh, that's where I got to meet Lewis. Lewis has a specific style. Lewis is now building me a bass, which could be a follow-up video after this. Could be months, won't be a year. It will take however long. The builder needs, that's another thing. You're in conversation with a person, not with a company. Life happens, something needs to be done. They have a family emergency or they just want to take two weeks off. That's all right because by the time they're working with you, not for you, you'll have made a friend. Isn't that lovely? Getting an instrument and getting a friend? Just like Leslie has a new friend petting my wiener. See how friendly and nice he is. That's basically what this whole video is about. Don't think about custom instruments as something very elusive, something very expensive. Yes, they cost money, uh, but both the custom guitar and this bass under two grand, which is a lot of money for most people but it's something unique you get and you get a friend with it. Because right now, if I have a problem with one of my guitars, I can go to Yoshi and ask him for something. Easily done. I don't think there's anything else I would like to say. Should I say something? Okay. Well, uh, you know what? Let's make Henning happy. Let's start comments. Let's do that. Don't do the like and subscribe. In the comments, describe your dream instrument, whether it's a bass or whether it's a guitar or whether it's a flute. I don't know. I mean, I only know one flute player and he's a small Irish leprechaun from Scotland. Fuck it. A way back to the shop, we'll get ourselves some brown sauce. And I gets there. And the only thing they had, HP sauce. That's no brun sauce. I wanted proper Scottish chippy brun sauce. No this fucking English HP brown sauce. Fucking load of shite. But I still bought it because I'd rather have that than a dry roll. Can I abide a fucking dry roll? Fucking HP sauce, load of shite. He has a whole channel about it. There's certainly three videos on it. But I digress. Not important. In the comments, describe your dream instrument. And who knows? Maybe someone will be able to recommend you the perfect builder for your dream instrument. And dreaming is nice. But then holding your dream is even better. That's it from me. No idea why you sat through this video. But good that you did. Thank you for that. Again, dream it, have it built by the right builder. Paolo, Yoshi, Louis, hello.
no idea why you would be watching this entire video, but thank you. That being said, I would like to say animals at the end, but there's already an animal at the end of this video. So, should we just leave him here and we leave? That's not gonna work. No, I don't think so. We can try. Well, we'll try animals at the end. Maybe it's going to be Snoopy, maybe it's not. Thank you for listening to me. Bye. Blijf, Snoop, blijf, blijf, blijven, blijf.